Hi, my name is Allison Crockett, and here at Levine, I teach the Capital City Voices, which is an adult jazz choir, and the New Generation Jazz Chorus. Pretty good. Let's see if we can do that with music. Children can learn about this music and feel the fun that's associated with it. We dance, we move, we have such a great time. They learn how to improvise using any syllable that they want, as long as it sounds like a drum or a horn or something. You learn to allow yourself to just be, to feel the rhythm and the groove, and just have a great time singing with each other. Chocolate cookie, chocolate cookie, chocolate cookie, yum, yum, yum. Chocolate cookie, chocolate cookie, chocolate cookie, yum, yum, yum. American music is a plethora of different uh, styles that came together, but the most, uh, the most well-known one is one we call Black American music. And I use the term Black American music to cover all the musics of Americas that were influenced by enslaved Africans. And so our modern American music right now comes from the blues, which was created by African Americans uh, in Louisiana, in Mississippi, and gospel that was created all around the South. We have the moan, oh, 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 oh. That, come, that and that's blues and that's gospel. <laughs> The adult students have so much fun with Capital City Voices because they get a chance to really dig into the music of some of their youth and some of the things that they've always wanted to do. The entire world, no matter where I go, loves jazz. They love singing it, they love listening to it, they love participating in it, and we in America, our children need to understand the power of this music, of this American music, and the power that it has had all over the world. And so we have this legacy. It's really, really important musically for our legacy and our heritage as Americans for jazz to be an essential part of our musical education.